Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Brandon once again here for episode four. Uh, I have another special guest. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Biryani, also known as Exquisitely. Okay. So, the uh, reason why I brought her here, she started a segment on Instagram. Is it mainly on Instagram? Right? Yeah, it's mainly on Instagram, but it's also, I post the videos on YouTube and they're also on my blog, but Instagram is my main uh, platform. Okay, so it's called Speak Your Truth or Speak the Truth. Speak Your Truth. Speak Your Truth. And um, can you tell us about that? Yeah, so Speak Your Truth is a video series that is composed of different stories of people literally just coming on, getting behind camera, me asking questions related to their story. So before interviewing them, I do know a good idea of what their story is about. So I, you know, put questions together and then from there, ask them the questions, um, they answer, there's no time limit on it. And once they answer the questions, I leave the floor open for them to add anything they want to add. Um, pretty much the project is created to allow people like us to have a platform to speak about things that we've gone through, the impact that it had on us, because I feel like sometimes we're told to just like sweep things under the rug mm -hmm. and pretend they never happened and like they didn't impact us. And the social media era now is so, everything is a facade, like nobody's really no, real, real anymore. That's nobody nobody That's talks about what they go through. Mm -hmm. Nobody talks about how they got to where they got to. So I wanted to create a project that was just like raw and uncut. And a lot of the people who speak are people that I know have made an impact on me, have a lot of followers on Instagram or, you know, really known at school or in their community. So just to give them an opportunity to be themselves without judgment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you said something just now um, that we were kind of taught to sweep things under the rug. Mm -hmm. And an interesting um, thing about that, um, me growing up, I wasn't taught that. I was actually told to speak how I felt at okay. all times. Granny always did the opposite. Okay. Which which is crazy. That's but my the, mother and like my father or my older sister or friends, they always be like, oh, you can tell us what's wrong if mm -hmm. you feel anything. You can sometimes tell us something's wrong right. with me, but I would just never speak on it. Mm -hmm. um, were you raised like to sweep things under the rug or were you way raised to express your feelings so like i was raised to express my feelings but i think i was kind of similar to you in feeling certain things that i went through i didn't necessarily know if i wanted to speak about so i knew that i always had that open platform there with my parents to just sit down and be like hey this is how i feel this is what i'm going through but certain things i felt like and eh, i don't really know if i want to share that because i was afraid of being judged or I feel like maybe they won't understand where I'm coming from or so I did have that that opportunity to speak and be open with my family but sometimes like you I chose to just I'm gonna figure it out on my own or I'm just mm -hmm. gonna I'm gonna hold this in and right. you know kind of just see what happens so it's so very similar to you okay so you're like four episodes in yes out of the four which one um which one almost made you cry or the very which first one's more one. the very first one yeah um, that's the one she had mental health for yeah her. that yeah. one was powerful for me just because it was the first one i did mm -hmm. so even going into my project and i'm sure you can relate like you don't really know exactly what you're doing mm -hmm. like that was my first time i still don't know yeah that. like I, i'm like all right i have somebody to record for me i have a location we're gonna just kind of figure it out and see what happens but that one was the most powerful powerful for me because, like I said, it was the first one. Mm -hmm. And she actually, like, broke down while she was speaking. So I remember one of the questions, and the episode was about <laughs> mental health, and right. she had a depressive disorder. So the one of the questions I asked her was, well, what would you tell your younger self? Like, if there was a message that you can tell your younger self, what would it be? And just to see um, how much things you go through in your childhood carry out into adulthood and what she started talking about if I could go back and tell myself anything this is what it would be so I feel like that was one of the most like raw episodes and everyone was really good in their own way like mm -hmm. I love every episode right. um, that I had the opportunity to record but that one specifically was like it okay speaking of mental health have you ever um, been close to anyone who dealt with mental health Cause I know I have. Um, I think the first experience was in seventh grade. Uh, this kid, that we wasn't the best of friends, but we was cool, mm -hmm. and he hung himself. Oh wow! Um, I never forget his name. It was I think it was after like Christmas break. It was one of the breaks I think, 
and he just didn't come back. Mm -hmm. He said he hung himself. So that that one kind of struck a chord. And then uh, one of my one of my friends now sometimes he deals with like depression. I want to say mental health, but maybe it is because mm -hmm. sometimes he may have a suicidal thought. Right. I even know a female who may have a suicidal thought. So I have had you know cool. So when I when I watched that one, I was like, okay, I kind of I can kind of relate to mm -hmm. this. Can you can you relate to any of the four episodes so far? Um, if I could relate. See, the crazy thing about it is there was something from each episode that I felt kind of related to me in a way. Mm. So I personally never dealt with like mental health. Um, I feel like it's normal sometimes for people to have like high anxiety levels or to, right. you know, get down on yourself. But I don't really want to say it was ever like depression um or anything like that um i have had friends that dealt with mental health and mm -hmm. that one was very sensitive because i knew people need to understand how to deal with people that are dealing with mental health um it's so easy for people to write you off and just oh yeah like okay go pray about it like you know just stop right. thinking about it just leave it alone kind of like you know pretend it's not there but that one specifically was very personal and then even the episode that i did with joe um he spoke about his creativity mm -hmm. and knowing when his work is complete and knowing when something can be put out and what he wants his viewers to see from his work so that was personal to me because okay. my project in general right. is you know me putting work out and you have an idea of what you want people to take from it but you know sometimes your message doesn't always come across the way you may want so just trial and error um the third episode that i did that was, was the mother right? yeah so yeah. that I, was i connected with that one too. yeah that one was very interesting it was called the art of being a single mother and a creative mm -hmm. um my sister had my nephew when she was young and you know she her boyfriend at the time wasn't her life but she did do a lot of raising mm -hmm. my nephew on her own so just Having somebody speak about being, you know, black and feeling like you kind of fell into the stigma of being a young mother and a single mother, but still finding time to create and do what you may want to do, go back to school. And that was important because so many people have children young and they feel like, That's true. oh, That's my true. life That's is true. over. Yeah, they're like, oh, my life is over. I can't do anything. You know, let me just sit here and, you know, sulk and raise my child and not still go after what I want to go after. And the most recent episode, um, what stood out to me the most, this episode was called The Real Tea. And right. mm -hmm. her main thing was pretty much what I said earlier about Instagram and social media just being, everything is so fake. Like, we follow celebrities, but when it's something that's really important happening, people won't repost. Yeah, or, not choosing, people not really choosing themselves. They're not. And, and when following celebrities' life, and half of it's not true either. Mm -hmm. So you're following the life that they're they're not even showing them themselves exactly. most of the time so you're following a fake life mm -hmm. and then you want to act fake on instagram right? exactly no everybody they post them. what they want you post what you want people to see and mm -hmm. you know i can have a terrible week but if i post three nice pictures y'all are gonna assume i'm happy and that everything That's is true. okay when in reality you never really know what's going on with somebody you're only gonna know what they what they may put out with her she spoke about like her faith and um how that had to carry her through a hard time and i feel like sometimes i can be honest i dealt with battling with that just kind of like still believing even when things weren't going like it could just be one bad thing after the next after the next and i'm like well you know if god is real then how could this be happening to me but you have to take that time to yourself and one thing she said was like anybody can pray for you but you have to learn how to pray for yourself and That's really true. just be there for yourself if you don't believe nobody can make you believe so there was something in every episode that really stuck with me. Yeah, just to touch on that, because you said pray for yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you watch my story. Every day, wake and pray. Oh, oh, she... Every day. She's a fake fan. <laughs> so, uh, I legit wake and pray. Like I legit wake up, and I legit pray. I just say a few words. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not the most religious person. I don't have a exact um, faith I believe in. I was okay. raised as a Christian mm -hmm. Baptist, like mm -hmm. most people. Um, around me so uh, that's what I do so every morning I wake and I pray on things that I want and mm -hmm. I pray on things that need to happen so because I deal with a lot of uh, my own stress right. you know maybe family maybe finances at one point school 
Uh, so there's a lot of different things. So I feel that um, we need to find that outlet. And I feel like this is a good outlet because you can speak it, you can get it off your chest. Exactly. Like if you was holding it in, like these four people so far we spoke about, yeah. they probably was holding it in and soon they got in front of the camera was able to let, yeah. it, let it out. Because one girl the, with the, the mom and the creative mother, mm -hmm. she cried on like, mm -hmm. one of the slides. I was yeah. like, oh, here come the tears. So I was like... It's not scripted, y'all. It's not. It's so, completely not. But you, you're doing this, right? Will we ever see an episode about you? So, yeah. Um, each season, I do want to have more than one season. Um, I'm hoping to do at least five episodes each season. Okay. So, the fifth one, which is will be the, will be the last one, is going to be about me. Oh, it's going to be you? Yeah. Oh, I, so, okay. So, how does, that, how, does that, how does that work? Is it you asking yourself the question? No. So, or actually... Um, closest friend? Or? So, you know Judea. Yeah. So Jade is, is my camera lady. Like she's been holding me down throughout mm -hmm. everything. Any recordings that I have, she's recorded for me. We've edited together. Um, what I'm gonna do is, and I'm actually planning to record it this weekend, is kind of just get same thing I do with other people. They give me the title of what they want their episode to be, mm -hmm. what it's gonna be about. I create the questions, and that's it. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, have my title. I already know what it's gonna be about, and I'm gonna tell her like. You, you create the questions. And then oh. you ask me behind the camera. So who's going to hold the camera? We well, use a tripod. Oh, somebody hold Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tripod. So she's not physically, like, you know, holding it the whole time, but... What's it about? Oh, do it's I have to spill here? You don't have to. It's just you. Um, no, to. okay, so... Snip it. Actually, no, because this is released when? You said this, you were released this weekend? Is the 18th a Monday? The 18th is a Monday. It's in two Mondays. That's the one. That's the date. Look at her. I'm going to release 